Okay, lesson three, uh, the first part is just going to be an extension of what we did uh, last week, and that's to talk about how many factors a number has. If you remember, the way that we learned to do this is we first did the prime factorization, and if you remember on prime factorization, one way to do it would be like this, where you just do the reverse division um, until you, you get down to all prime numbers, and so our, our prime factorization of 24 was 2 cubed times 3 to the first. Okay, so when we when we did this, the, the number of even fa the number of total factors was you just added one to both of those exponents and then it multiplied them together. So we could find out very easily that there are four times two. Twenty-four has eight factors. If you want to find out how many even factors something has, it's actually easier to first find out how many odd factors. And the way you find out how many odd factors something has you ignore the 2. You do the same process except ignore the 2. So if I ignore the 2, I add 1 to the exponent of the 3, which would be gives you 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so that means there are two odd factors because there's nothing to multiply that 2 by. So if there are two odd factors and there are eight total factors, that means there must be 6 even. So your procedure for doing this, of finding the number of even factors, is actually first to find the number of odd factors. So if we look at 400, we do our prime factorization of 400. All right, 2 goes into 400 200 times. 2 goes into 200 100 times. 2 goes into 150 times. 2 goes into 50 25 times. And then 25 is just 5 times 5. So the total number of factors in this is 2 to the 4th times 5 to the 2nd. Again, so the total number, we'd be adding 1 to both of these which would give you 15 total factors, 5 times 3. And to find the number of even, you first look at the number of odd, which would be this one right here. There's no other odd, odd prime factors, so it's just going to be 2 plus 1, which would be 3. So that means there are 3 odd. And if there are 3 odd, then there must be 15 minus 3, which would be 12 even factors. Because it, the, every factor has to either be even or it has to be odd number. Can't be, can't be something else. There's nothing else that we define integers as. So in this case, the answer would be 12 even numbers. Um, example 3, it just says the same thing. How many odd factors does 750 have? How many even factors does 750 have? So we now this is just asking us to do both. So we do our prime factorization of 750. 2 goes into 750. It only goes into it once because that leaves you 375. 3 is going to go into this because 3 plus 7 plus 5 is 15, so I know 3 goes into there. And it turns out that 3 goes into it, I think, 125 times. You may need to use a calculator or a separate piece of paper to figure that out. 3 doesn't go into 125 because 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8, which is in a uh, uh, multiple 3. But I know 5 goes into this, and 5 is going to go into 125 uh, 25 times. And then 5 obviously goes into 25 5 times. So your pri prime factorization of 750 is 2 times 3 times 5 to the third. So if I want to know the total number of factors, I add 1 to each of the powers, which is going to give you 2 times 2 times 4, which would equal 16. So 750 has 16 total factors. If you want to know how many odd factors it has, you just look at the odd numbers. The number of odd factors is going to be 2 times 4, which is 8. So if there are 8 odd factors, then that means there must be 16 minus 8, which is also 8. And so there are 8 even factors. So there are 8 in this case, there are 8 odd factors, and there are 8 even factors. So that's your procedure for going to look at a number and determine how many odd factors are